Let me preface this video with something before I actually get into the details. There are various input methods in this game and you are entitled to play the way that is most comfortable for you. I have been playing mouse with GD for around 7 years and it takes a fair bit of time to get used to the new input methods because it screws a bit with your muscle memory. So don't expect to buy one of these and immediately be great at the game. It requires the same amount of effort needed to transition from mouse to up arrow because that is essentially what it is. But if you are comfortable with up arrow already and you want to spend money on one of these, go for it. These are a great alternative to expensive keyboards like the SteelSeries Apex Pro. And don't feel ashamed to use these as you can absolutely be great at the game using every single modern input method. So when you first turn on your Sayo device, um, what you're going to be prompted with is something telling you that you need to calibrate the different little buttons that you have on here. And what you're going to need to do is uh, see that knob right there, the one that you can turn around. You're going to actually press in on it like the joystick to a DualShock 4. So if yours is in Chinese, what you're going to have to do is press down, go to display or where display would be. Press language. That would say language if you're in Chinese. Uh, it just says Chinese here because, you know, Chinese people. Scroll down, English. Boom. And now you'll have the actual settings that you're going to need to set this thing up. So there's one important step that you need to take before you actually start adjusting the settings, and it's actually to enable the settings themselves. Uh, what you're going to need to do is install new firmware. And to do this, as you might have read on your little booklet that the thing came with, you need to go to sayodevice.com. And you're going to be prompted with this thing at the top left called search Sayo device. Click on it, click on your own device, and your screen will not look like this. It will actually uh, start installing the firmware or explain to you the process of what you need to do to set up the installation. But when you finish that, you should be good to go and you'll actually have the options on your uh, own device just available and you'll be able to adjust them. First thing you're gonna absolutely need to do is calibrating the keys that you're going to use to play the game. I'll just do one of them because I'm only going to be playing the game with one of the keys, but I'll just show you the process right here. All the calibration process does is define the endpoint of the switch, and you should never do it hard because the latches on the switch will bend down and lower the switch, thus giving an incorrect reading. You should always do it fairly gently. And here's what might make or break your experience with this device. These are switch parameters which define different dead zones and actuation points which may feel great or awful depending on how you enjoy the game, which is why I recommend messing with these settings unless you feel absolutely fine with the default settings. I'll link a guide for these in the description, but for the most part you can just screw around with them until it's okay for you. And here's the last thing you need to do in order to fully set up this device for DD. Return back to the website you used to install firmware, and now you will have a pop-up similar to this. Here, you will be able to rebind your keys to any other key on the keyboard, and for the sake of geometry dash, I will be making my main key register an up arrow press when I give it an input. If you really wanted to, you could bind the other two keys to the left and right arrow keys as well, to make start position switching more convenient. It's all up to you what key you want to bind those other keys to. Here, I'm going to click the key that I used to play the game. I'm going to click the general key, and I'm going to set it to up arrow, press OK, press Submit, and then press Save to Device at the top right. That will save it on the device, and now when you turn off your computer and turn it back on, it will still stay the same keybind. And that's about it, unless you want to customize the screen on your SEO device, which in that case you need to install a program that allows you to do so, which you can find on the SEO device Discord server from what I have seen. I've already beaten a top 150 Extreme Demon using this device, though I could have beat it with the mouse just as fast, but the fact that I was able to rapidly adjust to it really shows the importance of adjusting the settings on this thing. It's a pretty revolutionary device, and I hope to see other people using it in the future.